13th against Australia. And another 10 wicket haul against Australia. Then to India, 1988 in the second test at Bombay, 10 wickets in the match for the ninth time. New Zealand won by 136 runs, but it was India who provided another milestone at Christchurch in 1990. A tremendous performance there because um, it came at a time where you were having injury problems. I had a, an Achilles tendon operation in uh, November of 1989. and the age of 38, when you have leg operations like that, uh, there's not too many incentives to get over them and uh, uh, strive to rehabilitate yourself to come back. But the incentive for me was, of course, it was on uh, 396 test wickets. And trying to be the first man to get to 400 was like uh, achieving a major barrier, uh, like uh, Sir Edmund Hillary conquering Everest or Roger Bannister uh, doing the first sub four minute mile. The challenge was there, and that was the thing that kept me going. And I had to rehabilitate myself against the odds because the surgeon only gave me a 70% charge of getting back on the field again. I gave you none because, as you'll recall, I saw you at the Sportsman of the Year Awards where you had to get on crutches three times up to accept awards. And I wasn't sure you were going to make it back on any one of those three occasions. And uh, I looked, I went back to Australia and said, I'm very sad to have to say it, I don't think Richard will be back. And yet here you are, you've just gone through um, a couple more uh, absolute triumphs. Well, it was quite extraordinary because um, I'd just come out of plaster when you'd seen me two weeks early and we took grave risks to, uh, to get the, the foot moving again and working. And it took me eight weeks of uh, hard work to get fit. And I wasn't even selected in the original 12 to play against India at Christchurch. And, but I was included in the 13 to be a net bowler and, to, for, and for the selectors to see just w what sort of condition I was in. And Willie Watson actually broke a thumb. Uh, just prior to that test match and I was drafted in as his replacement and I played in that match uh, with having 30 overs behind me in, in club cricket and so I got on the field, got the four wickets, uh, we won that particular match, the 400 came up which was a tremendous milestone, in fact I received 400 roses to mark the occasion, they, they came out onto the field. Uh, and we won that particular series, and um, you know, which again was important, but it meant that I'd uh, gone through the 70s and the 80s, and I'd started the 90s uh, in a New Zealand cricket team. So I was, I was going into sort of three decades of cricket, and uh, it was a marvellous feeling to still be part of that New Zealand team again against the odds. What was the feeling when you got that 400th? Well, the first three wickets actually came very quickly in the first innings, and um, then I was left on 399, and it wasn't until the second innings, and late, or uh, well, midway through their second innings, that that wicket came about, and Sanjay Mandraka becomes that uh, particular victim. I think the Indians were having a sweepstake as to <laughs> who the, uh, the 400th would be, but he actually uh, got an inside edge onto the stumps, and I must admit that uh, when it happened, there was great joy, obviously, but uh, one of relief because I've had a habit when I've needed milestones uh, anywhere around the world, uh, which seemingly should happen reasonably quickly, have been delayed somewhat through <laughs> whatever circumstance. Uh, but certainly uh, it was a very special moment. Let's just have a look now at the second test match at Lords.